Hey guys, this is going to be the beginning of a series on tree houses from very, very luxury like this to rural tree houses in jungles around the world. As you know, this has been a passion of mine for decades, so I'm super excited to show you around. In this episode, we're going to be traveling to two different countries, the Dominican Republic and the United Kingdom. We're gonna see two very different tree houses at drastically different price points. At the end, I'll tell you which one is my favorite, but I'll leave it for you to decide which you'd prefer to stay in. Our first tree house is located in the Dominican Republic. I was very excited to explore this incredible tree house village. The main tree house comes in at $300 a night and was the most legit tree house, built in an actual tree almost 40 feet off the ground in the middle of the humid jungle with no windows, just you and nature. So straight away what I love about this place is all the little pathways in between the buildings are literally cut straight through the jungle so you're literally walking through incredible like passion fruit trees and flowers and stuff and it just hits you like yes I am in the middle of the jungle right now and that's what's so good about it. It is quite remote right in the northern peninsula of the Dominican Republic and we are like surrounded by rainforest in every direction. Right this is the main communal space where everyone hangs out. We also eat our meals here and the kitchen is right here and this is the kitchen staff preparing dinner. So this is the ultimate chill space. Hammocks, guitars, sofas for chilling on, dinner has just been served and then there's like a million board games over there for evening activities. Check this out. This is built around a tree. All of the supports. Whereas some of these other structures are just on stilts here. So I'll show you upstairs. Check out the gaps between these ones. <laughs> So each room comes equipped with a mosquito net hanging over the bed, a fan to keep you cool, and a little power socket down the side of the bed. You wake up in the morning to this view. I really like the lights in here. They've got these like rustic baskets around them and they give you just enough light at night to do your thing. So for me, the best thing about staying here is falling asleep at night to the sounds of insects and frogs chirping away and just feeling completely immersed in nature. It's, uh, it's so good, so much life everywhere. Our second tree house is located in the New Forest in the UK. This tree house comes in at $1,500 per night. This is super luxury, ultimate comfort on a suspended platform 20 feet off the ground with room service, amazing facilities, including its own hot tub. Thank you. Oh, sick. show you around. This is our living room space. We've got a coffee machine. This is the vital thing that I need every day. We've got a fridge stocked with snacks and drinks. This is the upstairs bedroom. I like this staircase. They've got like, it's a staircase and bookshelf all in one. And then this is a view from the top room. Oh, wow. It's insane. This is a bedroom with a view. Oh, I can't wait to wake up every morning to that. The bathroom, this is a bit ridiculous. Got a huge shower. Obviously the, uh, the couple's sink and then boom. Check out that deep bathtub, again with an incredible view. This is the decking outside, two sun lounges. I've just opened up the hot tub. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in that. And then we're gonna be having 
our breakfast and dinner out here on the table to this insane view. Look at this, right out in nature. I'm now in the main manor house hotel area and uh, we're going to get some lunch out on the patio here. Uh, yes, bruv. Croquet is a game of two sides. There's, all, there's always uh, four balls, blue, black, red, yellow. Oh. No, 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 that's fine, I think it's absolutely that's fantastic. Could have that got much better? <laughs> Oh! Woo! It all went all the way over there. That's how you pop a champagne bottle, though, isn't it? Yeah. Breakfast <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, um, yeah. you get a hamper, mm -hmm. which is delivered at 7.30. It's just through the hatch here. Yeah, so, dinner hamper. Oh, wait, there's another thing. I think that's <gasps> in there. Anyway. Do you reckon you can get both? Yeah. Watch that. Oh, man, that cheese has just gone all over the side. Um, you got everything, which is complimentary. Um, you know, you've got your teas there, you've got your nuts, your chocolates, make some more chocolate there. Um, are we coffee drinkers? Yeah. yeah. You are? Uh, cheers, man. Cheers, man. So you can order room service through the tablet? Correct. Yeah. So it's just services here, mm -hmm. and you've got your specific treehouse dining. How can I help? Hi, yeah, it's Louis from the treehouse. Hello, sir. Are you trying to get food to room services? Uh, yeah, we're trying to order some food. Voila. Wow. wow. Dinner is served. Wow. Is there a pizza? Oh, oh wow, aubergine. That looks yeah. insane. That looks, that I'm looks jealous amazing. of that. I might have to get that next time. this guy? <laughs> Don't know, let's have a little look. Oh, Ooh. That's, oh that's mine. <laughs> Ricey. Yes. Amazing. Pizza Steve. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. This is insane. So which one of the two was your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. For me, I just enjoy the adventurous experiences more. So it's gotta be the Dominican Treehouse Village. It's an incredible place in the rainforest, at the top of a tree, even though you don't have some of the comforts and luxuries, that's what I love most. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see some of the other tree houses I'm gonna be staying at around the world. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.